Someone asked me recently how I'd set the valve timing on my roundhouse loco. Now I don't know how the experts do it, but the method I've used has given me good results and perhaps it will be of some help to somebody. This roundhouse billy was a kit and one of the things I didn't do as the instructions said was to put a pin through the return crank and crank pin. I like to pull things apart from time to time so instead I just replaced the bolt through the return crank so that I could do it up tight enough that it wouldn't move but I can still pull the engine apart when I want to. The first thing I did was to be able to identify when the rear axle or crank was in the back dead centre position. That's as far as the pin will go when the wheel's turning backwards before it starts to move forward again to finish its rotation. And that correlates to the piston being at its furthest back position. To do that, I push the crank as far back as possible with the engine with the wheels off the ground, push as hard as I could on the crank pin or the conrod, not to the point of bending the engine in half, to get this crank pin as far back as possible, which is the dead centre position. I did that a number of times with the wheel rotating in reverse and a couple of times with the wheel rotating in forward and made sure it was in exactly the same position every time. When I was happy that that position was right I put a small scratch on the wheel that I can line up with the chassis and know that it's uh, dead centre position. The next part was to do the same again and get the position of the crank pin when it's in the front dead centre position. Again that correlates with the piston being as far forward as it can. So with the wheels off the ground I put some pressure on the bolt on the conrod to make sure I pulled that journal exactly far forward as it can go. And then again, uh, with a small file, I put a mark on the wheel that I can line up with the chassis. That was step one. <coughs> now, to the return crank. When the main crank pin is in the absolute back dead centre position, if the engine's running forward, the return crank pin will be exactly halfway through its travel from back to front. We want to know that as a reference point. So the way I did that was to have the engine in forward valve gear, little tug on the slide valve rod to take any play out of the valve gear and measured the distance from the back of the pin or the brass fitting to the front of the steam chest and recorded that and that's 49 millimeters. The next step is to set the engine up so that the crank pin is in the front dead center position. At this point, the return crank should be halfway in its travel from front to back. Each time, use the marks you've put on the wheel to get your exact centre position. Then, we measure again. Pull it forward to take the movement out of the valve gear. Measure from the back of the brass fitting on the valve rod to the front of the steam chest and that is should be 49 
those two readings should be the same. With about an hour on each side, I usually get them within 0 0.05 of a millimetre. In forward and moving the engine forward through the process, if the second distance that you measure is greater than the first, it means the return crank has to be turned slightly to the front, which I do just by tapping. Then, when I'm happy, I do up the bolt. Next step is to make sure the distance from the return crank to the expansion link is correct. If we measure the valve travel from front position to back position and work out the centre of that travel, then put the valve gear in reverse work out the maximum back travel and front travel. The centre of that should be exactly the same as the centre when we're in forward. If it's not, and this is a scary bit, once you start down this path you can never get back. I have changed the length of this link slightly. It's got a double set. I just straighten the set up slightly or increase it until the centre of travel of the slide valve is the same in forward as it is in reverse. Once I got those two correct, the rest of it was fairly easy um, according to the roundhouse adjusting instructions using the, the uh, thread on the brass fitting. Well, um, I won't go through the rest because it's pretty much just roundhouse from there. So uh, if you have a go of it, good luck. Good.